Hi, my loves. It's Jere Malay, the girl from around the way, where we have culture, conversation, and community. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe so you can join the community because, you know, we keep it cute over here, okay? So, uh, in this video, I want to give you my commentary on a tweet that went viral um, about Ari Lennox features. If you don't know who she is, she's an amazing R&B singer from Washington, D.C. She's been in the music game for a while now, but she most recently signed to J. Cole's record label, Dreamville, where she debuted her studio album, Shea Butter Baby. Um, you know her. Like, if you are into R&B, she's like, you know, Summer Walker. You, you've, you've, I'm sure you've heard of her. Um, my good sis gives us tunes about life. She's a good mood. She serves central hair. And I'd say she's definitely one of us, you know, like one of those do it for the people type of girl. And she's pretty unproblematic. And she says true, you know. So there was a tweet by a black man who pretty much said he was surprised at how sexy her and Tiana Taylor were, but looked like Rottweilers. Um, now I started to put his at name on here just to give you all a visual of the type of man he is but his tweet is already viral and i'm not giving no dusty not no not near more energy than he deserves okay so i'm just gonna go ahead and let you know he just looks like the typical black guy who dates not black woman period just on social media um i know right what a surprise but um I want to preface this video by saying that no black woman slander will be tolerated in the comment section, okay? None. Not happening over here, bruh. So before you even get the urge to type your first letter, know that it will be removed. And that's on Carisha. I'm going to play you a small clip of her live. And she was live for like 30 minutes, so I'm not going to post the whole thing. But it'll be posted somewhere online as well, I'm sure. But here was her response. did that on Twitter because I just want people to know... I, I really do love myself. I love my nose. I love black features. I want us to get to a point where we are where we are becoming aware of the self hate sometimes when you guys not you guys, but when you are calling or you're referring to a black woman as um a dog. Because we're not doing this. We're not doing this to um, other races or other black women who don't have um, a nose like this. You know what I'm saying? And, and please, when I start talking about noses, don't want you to think your beautiful skinny nose isn't beautiful. Don't want you to think your... Um, because some people don't think my nose is wide, that my nostrils are wide. It's life. You know what I'm saying? So I don't want, and I, I don't know. All I know is they love to tear down black women. They love to tear down black women with um, like wide features or just, pro, you know, like just features of, you know, blackness. But I also don't want you to think that like I'm coming for your nose if you feel like it's like tiny or something. I, it's no disrespect. I'm just saying we have to love on our brothers and sisters. <sighs> Sorry for all this sodium. We have to love on our brothers and sisters. We have to love on these babies. When you see a beautiful little fucking black child, say beautiful little fucking black child, you are beautiful. You gotta say it to the baby. Say it to the baby, especially when you see a baby with a nose. Because there are idiots out there that are going to tell her she is ugly and that she is um not the norm you know what i'm saying whole world wasn't already going on black features to begin with so no i don't want to hear from my people from a man who literally comes from a black mom i'm assuming and has a nose about as big as mine i don't want to hear from my black brother that um i look like a rottweiler i don't and it doesn't it doesn't bother me like to a point where it's just like oh i'm insecure i'm sad or I'm ranting, it it bothers me because you don't understand while I may be at a place where I love myself and I love my nose, there's somebody who might wanna die or who might wanna change something that is innate, something that is beautiful, something that from the beginning of time, big noses were the beginning. He went on to retweet and replied to his um, ignorant tweet saying that, you know, people hate blackness so bad. 
and that black women are the most unprotected and she told no lies she told not one lie I know that there are a few channels that solely focus on colorism and other issues that plague the black community but futurism is not heavily discussed What's so interesting is that when black men disrespect black women, it shows the amount of hate they have for themselves. When I hear black men talk like that, usually I'm exiting stage left, but it makes me wonder how their mother feel. You know, like who raised you? You know what I'm saying? Call me old school, but a lot of things start in the home. I'm a true believer in that. It was never designed for us to love ourselves, y'all. The, they want us to not like our skin our hair or whatever but this is where the greatness is okay this is what makes us great they are teaching us to hate how we look yet they're out here trying to look like us and more than just the look the culture the swag the resourcefulness is so apparent okay it's ugly it's like you and a friend get a toy and the toys are different and your one friend says ugh that doll is uglier that's you you should throw it away and you all stupidly throw away your toy and he come up right behind you swoop down and take it for himself no sis keep all of your things they are yours they are great okay and it's so hard when you don't have an ally black men who are supposed to have your back and instead they're kicking it in and I don't, and I, and I'm, and I'm not doing this to bash black men either, okay? Because I know that there are some black men who don't feel that way, but they need to speak up. Hello, sir. Where you at? Hello. And and it's not because you're ugly; it's the self hate that's ugly. It's the European beauty standards that are ugly. The constant disrespect and disregard of black women—that's what's ugly. Every she raised a good point and I'm and I feel her. I'm like, where are the black men? Where are y'all at? Where y'all at? Pull up on me. Pull up. Okay. Pull up. And not for nothing. I feel like gay black men speak up more for black for black women than straight. And y'all always talk about oh the agenda to defeminize the black man. But what about the agenda to have about the black to cancel black families in general? What about that? You know what I mean? That's it's just, it's no different. It's no different. And they and and the and the gay men they're not even sexually attracted to us, but they voice their opinions. They use their platforms. Okay, I mentioned this in a video I did on Flame Monroe. They understand and they know that the slander and the cultural appropriation is trash, and they speak on it. Okay, Candy, speak on it. Yes, speak up. And and no response is a response, sir. Think about how many times black women go out of their way for a black man and it's not reciprocated. You know what I mean? I know it's, I know in particular one instance is when you are involved with the police. The black woman is more likely to try to be the, the focal point to get the attention off of him. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just one of those things. I don't know about y'all, but it's 2020, okay? And... I'm not about to teach no grown man how to love himself because ultimately we are a reflection of them. So saying you don't like black women, you know, their color, the texture, the features, I'm saying that you don't like yourself. Okay. And ladies, for the, the moment that you hear this perverted way of thinking, dip, okay? Dip, baby, dip. Just dip, just leave because you don't want to internalize those things. Now you're comparing. Now you're this. Now you're that. Leave ASAP. Like uh, Tokyo Tony. ASAP okay I usually open up with how do you feel about black issues or whatever just as an opener and if he says anything that's remotely screaming self-hating black deuces I'm out you know or I might just say for fun depending on if I want to even bother for entertainment purposes but that's that's done that's that's done before you even went anywhere okay but like Nene Leakes said, close your legs to marry men, girl. You got to close your legs to these self-hating black men, period. It's just that simple. No love, no energy, no hating. And I want to address the fact that when black women speak up about it, somehow we're insecure. No, it's not. It's not insecurities, okay? That, and, and, and we're not speaking from insecurities. We're speaking on something that's happening all the time. Think about... Years, you know, when you used to perm your hair, you were perming your hair because you don't like the way it grows out of your scalp naturally. It's yours. It's mine. 
Aries' nose is her nose. She lived She lived 28 years with that nose, sir. Come on, y'all. And to all of my big nose, afro, 4C, dark skin, brown skin, natural, big lip, full curved, kinky, coily, big boned, okay, black women, you are beautiful and you are strong and resilient, okay? And I'm sending you one of the biggest virtual hugs, okay? So hug yourself right now for me to use this. <laughs> Go hug yourself, all right? Let me know what y'all think in the comment section. I mean, do you feel like black men should speak up more or what? Like, how do we resolve some of this, you know? Um, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already. It lets YouTube know you enjoyed this content and conversation. As always, I'm sending you love and light. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.